Hello everyone, welcome back to One Piece Dungeons and Dragons episode 19. The 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 danger one. The danger zone. Uh, uh, the one where uh, somebody could die. It may be uh it may be William, it may be Duras, no, maybe Verona, no, maybe Ragnar, could be anyone else. Hemlock, Blake, Trevor, Pearl. Who knows? It's Dungeons and Dragons, it's all up in the air. How about some random person that we haven't met in like 13 episodes? How about that person dies? You know, that's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. Uh, like, yeah, I like that idea too. Yeah. Like Frigsworth, the guy who Frigsworth. sold you um, the Yogi Poo. He pops yeah, up and yeah, he's like, he, he hey guys. A, yeah, maybe he's just his health hasn't been good. <laughs> hey guys, he just, it's me. You know. it's, me <laughs> it's me, Frigsworth. I'm here. I'm here to save the day. Uh, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Remember <laughs> me. Tell my wife and children <laughs> I loved her. And tell the Yogi... Wait, you got a new ship? Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> named it the Yogi Poo too, just out of your memory. Oh my god. Um, the other one we just abandoned, though. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kind of did abandon that shit. Did, we, did yeah. we burn it, or we, did we just leave no, it alone? No, we just left like, it in the tower. We just left it <laughs> bobbing in the water. Yeah, you, yo, you didn't... random person finds it. Actually, genuinely, you didn't even dock it. You you, <laughs> you got your new <laughs> ship. You sailed past the old ship because Gravy was still on it, picked up Gravy, and just left the ship there in the middle just of the ocean. Just left it bobbing yep. in the water. Didn't even Hell drop, like, yeah. the anchors it's just dropped. having a good just... time in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. Just having a good time. Yo, it should... The Yogi Poo comes and saves us from this island. <laughs> this is like Eddie's <laughs> lobby, so yes! No, yes! There's no, way. <laughs> there's no way. Okay. All right. Oh, so, man. for as a recap, what happened last time was William let shit hit the fan, for lack of a better phrase. Instead of playing things tactically, because I, they know that everyone's strong here, William just destroyed all the walls so that all of the big, strong people were in the same place at the same time. Um, and you guys had a very manic moment uh, flying out of the tower. Verona almost died. Um, <laughs> Ragnar almost died. Um, it's true. Uh, and then I found the Santa hat, and now I'm happy. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yep. Merry Christmas, oh, everyone. Um then you guys uh, got back to the. You got you retrieved boss. That was a successful thing. Yeah, that was the thing we that did. Was the good we thing. did that yeah, right. We, yeah. we actually did something. I'm you, surprised. You, you got him. And now you're on your way out. And um, you managed to control Trevor, who fought Arzen, which was actually pretty successful. They both took a, a decent chunk out of each other's life, um, which was good, which was great. Good job, you guys. Uh, good big brain thinking. Those um, lucks were, those rolls were it was all good. up there. It was I, yeah. good. Yeah. You, you still have some spins left, I, I believe. I have right? one left. You got I have one, one left. spin left. <laughs> that you can use on your turn. Um, and so Arzen and Trevor, they had a little fight, and then Trevor, uh, the thing ran out, and so he came back, and now he's angry. Um, yeah. Uh, Blake and Hemlock burst out of the tower. Uh, they're currently trying to kill Marine Captain Verona for some reason. You guys don't know. Um, Pearl is flying on ahead to open the gate so that you can hijack a ship and sail out. Um, but as she's flying on ahead, she gets taken out of the sky by Cyril, who is just happens to be on uh, Nightwatch. Um, and uh, yeah, and Mister Mister, uh, that's where we left off. We left off with all of those things happening at once, and then we to be continued. Um, yeah, great times. <laughs> well, so, well, well, there's well, there's so a, just there's a few yeah. So just for Go context. Arzen, Trevor, William, and Ragnar are all kind of like sort of in the island um, next yeah. to each other. Duros and Verona are currently traveling, running towards the docks. Pearl and Cyril are on the docks. And Blake, Hemlock, and Marine Captain Verona are also on the island. Um, sort of in the opposite direction, but close enough that they can still... Everyone's sort of close enough. Um we're gonna str we already have the initiatives from last time, so we don't even need to roll initiatives. We go straight in with Verona. Uh, oh. It is your turn. You've recently <laughs> come back from consciousness. Um, shit is getting hectic. Everything's crazy. Verona, it's up to you. All right. Oh, boy. I'm just going to book it to the docks as fast as I can. At the speed of sound. I don't know how many squares I can go. One, two. Can you go diagonal? Yes. Yes, you can. All right. And it's six, right? Yes. One, yeah. two, three. Four, so you're gonna to run towards five. the the dock. Boom! All right, you you run towards the dock um, using all your movement to just fucking charge towards it. You're now closer to Cyril, who currently has a uh, pearl. Like he he didn't do any damage to Pearl really, but he does have pearl on the ground. 
Um, is okay. he close enough to talk and catch his attention? Yeah. Yes, you are to close can enough I use to talk. The talk no jutsu. You can use the talk no jutsu. All right, I'm just going to whip it out then. You guys ready for some development? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I said you could do the talk <laughs> no jutsu. I didn't say you could whip it out. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, come, come, on, come on, Verona. Come on, Verona. I apologize. All right. <clears throat> Are you going to animate that too? <laughs> uh, find out next next week, next session. Next session. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next so time on I'm, Dragon uh, Ball Z. I'm just going to scream, All right, Cyril, listen up. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to make this quick just what? to get his attention right. Uh, he turns around. He's like, You, you guys, you, you're not my weens. Uh, you you tweaked me. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Listen, you may not, you barely probably remember me, but Captain Viridian was my father. And I know that you have some history with him, so I'm going to tell you what happened to him. Ten years ago, after a week away on duty, he suddenly came back one night in a panic, screaming at me to pack my things as we had to leave. Not even minutes later, Marines began to storm our home, so my father hid me underneath the floorboards and told me to keep quiet. Next thing I knew, his best friend Dogtooth, or Marrow, I guess, stepped in. He was someone who was previously like an uncle to me, someone I had complete trust in. And upon seeing him, my father let out a big sigh of relief and started rambling about something important he'd just discovered. Before, but before he could let out what that important information was, he was shot through the heart multiple times and I let out a small peep upon seeing him fall on the floor. And that peep is what sealed my fate. Dogtooth smiled at me through the floorboards before walking away, and next thing I knew, the Marines proceeded to burn the entire house down, all while laughing and playing violins in the distance like it was some sort of party. They assumed that would kill me, a mere 12-year-old boy, but all it did was light the fire within me. I don't know why they killed him, and I wasted half my life trying to find out, but to no avail. All I do know is that woman over there was once considered my mother, someone who never gave a shit about me even back then. Yet after being burned alive, I waited weeks for her to come to my aid, and her absence said it all. If that bitch isn't directly involved with his murder, she at least didn't bat an eye knowing that we were gone. So once my good pals in the candle-making business take care of her, you bet your ass I won't be batting my eyes either. And you can see that man over there with the tubes? He ripped off your arm for fun, didn't he? He's supposed to lead you, to bring peace and justice to the seas. You look at your newfound deformity and tell me that is justice. You look at the absence of the man that we both looked up to and you tell me that is justice. You tell me the attempted murder of a 10 year old boy is justice. I'm not asking you to help us. All I'm asking is you get the fuck out of our way. <laughs> Can you roll a charisma? Now that was a talk no-jutsu. <laughs> Can you roll I don't a... even think he needs to roll charisma, With bro. With advantage. He got advantage. Save. Should I roll regular charisma? I actually did save. The regular oh, no. charisma. I think it's different for you. It is. 13. Wow. Oh, no. Okay. oh, no. No, no, no. 13. Oh, no. You have advantage. You have advantage. Okay. Does it work? Okay. All right. So, um, you, uh, Cyril looks at you and goes... <laughs> You said all that in six seconds? Wow. <laughs> Damn, man. It's like one of those. <laughs> no, no, no. no that, that, that's how you know you have a good, uh, that's a good talk, talk no jutsu. It just condenses time. You know when Dio and freaking Jotaro were talking? It's like, you know, it's like time condenses. It's whatever. They, they were Dio seconds. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they were <laughs> Dio seconds. It's fine. You got ragged yeah. or pumped up right now. I know technically I can't hear the conversation. Oh, no, we heard all up, of that. <laughs> no, Cyril actually goes, V Vawona? Vawidian? I I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm scared. I I wanted I wanted to make the world a a, be a, a better place. I just wanted I just wanted I thought pirates were all bad people. And I But I I I don't know what to do. Um you notice that man i he, wish i was there right now to he, say something he, start, <laughs> he starts to cry but um because he has that water jutsu it, his like cheeks have like, actually now turned into water as well as he's crying so he, like you could see his entire like face has become like water as he's and i i feel like i'm having an existential crisis And he uh, pauses for a second, and he looks up into into your eyes, uh, Viridian, 
Viridian Verona. <laughs> and he yeah. goes, What do I do? That's the thing, kid. You do whatever you feel is right. And I'm just going to try to walk. Well, next turn, I'll try to walk past him to help Pearl up. But that's that's all I'm going to do for now. My turn's over. Uh, Cyril looks over to his arm that's obviously been removed. And he looks over at Arzen. And he sort of nods his head. Um, it's Arzen's turn. Oh, no. Oh, shit. All right. Come on, Ragnar. We can make it through this together, man. Arzen takes a step towards William, Ragnar, Boss, yeah. and Trevor. All right. And uh, he looks over to Trevor, who's clearly in angry. And he goes, You are so weak. You are so pathetic, Trevor. You let your little brother control you like this? Trevor looks over and goes, What? What are you talking about? My little... What happened? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ah, Trevor, Trevor. You know, attacking a vice admiral is uh, against the Marines' code of conduct, don't you know? I, um, do not care if you had control over yourself or not. Uh, I hereby officially, um, demote you, Trevor. Oh, ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Trevor looks kind of embarrassed and kind of angry. What did you say? And he looks around really flustered and stuff. Demote me? I'm one of the best. You don't understand. You feel like he's fueled with rage. He's worked so hard to be an example of justice and breaking like a, a Marine's code of conduct is, um, it's it's breaking him and he like he's shaking and he's gripping his blade Arzen you freak you're a freak of nature I didn't agree with any of these things any of these experiments that you did on human lives right I let it pass because it was for the greater good the end justifies the means but if you're gonna treat one of your strongest subordinates like this then before I deal with these I imagine me and Ragnar just kind of like do a double take, like we look at each other and then like look at it, like, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> like we're, we're just here. <laughs> Before I deal with these pirates, it seems there is a stain on the navy that needs to be dealt with now. And he pulls out his blade and Arzen goes, ah, this, this boy thinks he uh, can take on a, a vice admiral. He thinks he's a big boy. Does he not remember? That I, we were the ones that that helped him, grew him from a child after his parents were tragically murdered by this man over here. Ah, uh, but no matter. He then walks over, and it looks like he pulls out his tube and he's about to stick it into Trevor. But then all of a sudden, he turns round and instead attacks William. Flat. Uh, <laughs> you had my hopes up for a moment there. <laughs> oh, no, All no, right. No. Time to... 23. Right. Time to bust out that uncanny dodge evasion shit. Yeah, uh, you, can, you can take half damage from this attack, which does 47 damage. All right. He, he, and then he, evasion, yeah, that only works he, for... Uh, he... he well, wait, I can... Well, I can also do a lucky roll for that roll against me. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to do that. Can you? Yeah, I, I have. Yeah, I even wrote. Yeah, lucky feet. Uh, ability check, saving throws, attack rolls that I make, and attack rolls made against me. And you have to roll that. Yes, I okay. roll a d20 for go the uh, lucky roll. Go ahead. All right, here spot. we go. I really studied my rogue sheet this week. He does have a. All right, so that hits you even. That that's exactly the same. He got, that's a uh, 12 plus his thing is still 23, so he still hits you. My God. Ooh. Okay. Well, I take half damage from that. Okay. 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 Because I have a uh, uncanny dodge. All right. Yes. So, so that's 23? Round it up. 24? 24. So he plugs 24. the tube right. into you. And ah, he, why? I thought you were going to attack him! Come on, He's dude. not even looking at you. He's still looking at Trevor because he knows that this will make Trevor angrier. That he's a tormented, wicked soul. <laughs> I'm still good. I, I somehow did not get hit the entire time last time, but I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you see this, Trevor? You see? 
Uh, what is it like to have connections to family members like this? I already killed all my own brothers and sisters, so this could never be used against me. <laughs> As he starts digging the... You feel this um, liquid pump into your bloodstream, uh, teching and uh, like weaken your body and make you feel worse and worse. Um... Uh, oh shit, William, let's get the hell out of here. You I'm okay? on the ground, like, puking. You're like, yeah, Ragnar, we gotta get out of here, man. Um, and then he turns around and attacks Trevor. Oh, yeah, he gets more than one attack. That's yeah, right. he has two. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, Trevor is going to parry that attack. Gives a plus two AC, which means that attack does not hit. Wow. Trevor. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, Trevor pulls out his blade uh, right as the tube goes in on Trevor. Unfaze s slices the um, the blade away, uh, slices the tube away, I'm so sorry, um, and um, cuts into the tube slightly, some of the liquid pouring onto the ground. Uh, Arzen raises an eyebrow. Ah. But this will be interesting, yeah? It's now Trevor's turn. I do apologize, you guys, but it is both of their turns at the same time. Trevor, no, <laughs> Trevor then steadies his blade and um, takes a moment to collect himself. He then pulls out, um, pulls out his blade, he already has his blade out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he then, uh, he, he steadies his blade, gets a, takes a moment to collect himself and then uh, slices three clean slices. One of them critically hitting. Look at, look at that. Look at double that. Crit. Double, double crit. crit, double crit, 30-30. 30 for 30, damn! <laughs> Alright. That's something you don't see every day, boys and girls. That's pretty cool. So that's a total of 28 plus 21 plus 33 plus... Wait, yeah, who's he doing that? He's doing that against Arzen, right? Yeah, Arzen. Oh. He does... Oh god, thank you! Oh my god. He does 109 oh. damage. Oh yeah! I mean, this is so much damage. I can't believe he did this much damage, but he did 109 <laughs> damage against Arzen, slicing this huge gash across Arzen's chest. Doesn't kill Arzen, but it does very much significantly weak the fella. Um, god! Note to self, don't frick with Trevor. <laughs> yeah, we I don't think oh. we can be Trevor. You I do recall <laughs> being one shot right by now. that man. <laughs> one shot Ragnar, all, bro. All you can yeah, see on good. all you can see on Arzen's face is this wicked smile as the blood splatters against his face. And he goes, Who knew that pain hurts so good? I should be doing more experiments on myself in the future. <laughs> um William, it's your turn. Uh, okay. okay. I have a quick question. Since, yeah. wait. Yes. I, yeah, go, I go ahead, Ragnar. Me and William are back to back, but now for Marine Captain Verona, where is she? Uh, she's over with... She's over oh, with, ahead. um, uh, Hemlock and Blake. Okay, so I have a proposition here, uh, Rustage. Is this allowed? Since me and William are technically trying to run away together, can we do our turns at the same time? Like, uh, we, if we choose to run yeah, away. Yeah, I, I thought oh, I was sure. riding on top of Ragnar. Sure, like, sure. He was full bear, like, that's what we were doing. I yeah. will let you, I'll let you do that, but... Uh, uh, I will, in exchange, Marine Captain Verona will go first because she has the exact same initiative as William. So okay, okay. so I'll yeah, because that's what I thought. I was just trying to, you know, make right that make sense. Other. Yeah. Okay, so Marine yeah. Captain Verona, who's just now gotten up, uh, her eyes glowing. You, you get a good look at her. Oh, you already got a decent look at her, but now her body, you can see she's got these like robotic enhancements all over herself. She looks a little bit like a cyberpunk character. <laughs> um, <laughs> what she actually yeah. looks like, if anyone's played it the maelstrom uh you know how the maelstrom characters have this this stuff that's like in their eyes and it's like this um instead I've never of their eyes yeah. whatever for yeah. anyone who knows that's kind of what her eyes look like she's got these big laser eyes and she looks over Ooh. at monty the snake and uh, blaze the dog the two huge monty, no. the two huge beasts <laughs> monty already looks pretty beaten up she's going to look up at monty and fire a fucking laser beam through um, Monty, no! Monty. It's not a very good one, though. That's actually a terrible one. Uh, Monty just has to make a deck save, which is pretty easy. Um, and Monty got 20 and so succeeded and only took 10 damage. <laughs> Monty! 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 Let's go! Let's do it, Monty! You got Monty's this, man! Monty's my man! What a okay. good boy. Um, William, it's your turn. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. 
I have a question before we begin this. Yes. Are we allowed? We get two actions, correct? Well, yeah, one each, yeah. We, I'm just saying, can we attack once and then run away? If William is riding Ragnar, yes. But no. If William is riding Ragnar, I would let William attack and Ragnar run away. Yes, and I'm okay carrying with that. William. Okay. So William, you can attack and roll your devil fruit, and Ragnar okay. can use his entire action to. Um, I mean, and, you, uh, you 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 can attack and run away anyway, but then the, he gets an opportunity attack. So I assume you mean disengage. Well, actually, yes, I was yes. I was gonna ask you about. Well, I don't know about Ragnar, but with me anyway, I don't think I can get attacks of opportunity because I have that fancy footwork thing. If yeah. you hit your attack. That's a special okay. you right. have to Yeah, hit. attack then retreat. Attack then retreat. Okay. Yes. Also, really clarifying question about boss. Can he is he riding on us too? Because if... He can be. I imagine he is. Uh, okay. Actually. I, I don't want to leave him behind. No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Ragnar, Ragnar, can you handle me and boss? Dude. Uh, oh yeah, easy. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm in bear we're mode. Riding up, we're riding on a war bear right now. <laughs> it's like Okay, so if it's it's if it's my turn and I'm on back of Ragnar, I'm like it's like, okay. That really really hurt but i think i could do this last chance for romance i really hope this is a good one last Wait, roll you, you rolling let's go i'm i'm rolling last one just to make sure we could get the hell out of here okay. da -da 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 -da. let's take a look shall we what did you 365. get 365. oh it's in the 300s it's, it's in the 300s that's a good sign oh um, it is okay what was it again 365 Three days of the year <laughs> yo merry christmas everyone <laughs> what did we get guys all right three six five to stay alive <laughs> um <Rustage. guy. laughs> it's a logia oh holy yeah. shit holy shit how good is it though what is it akainu's um, is it kuzan's is somebody cool Quit. Uh, and and don't get salty about this, but it's a salt no, logia. No. Oh, <laughs> a salt logia. You can okay. You can turn into salt and produce salt and manipulate salt. Salt uh, in the wound, baby. <laughs> All right. It's a, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not very. I, good. I mean, it's something. It's salt an element. Wound. Salt is naturally occurring. That is a thing. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm a log I'm a logia. That's that's the purpose. Okay. That's good. That means if you're Can a logia, I... it means you are you are safe from the attacks of Arzen's tubes, but you're not safe from his regular attacks that he hasn't done yet. But because he, yeah, he, he he can't hockey. put hockey on yeah. his tubes because it's like a thing. It's not a, it's not a weapon. Um, right. You're not safe from Trevor, but I think you're safe from Trevor for the moment. <laughs> I'm uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna try to aim for Arzen. I'm gonna try to hit him in the eye with just a salt cannon. Can I do that? <laughs> um, it won't do really any damage. Uh, Roll to hit, uh, but it won't. Can I try to blind? But I yeah, that's exactly. No, what I was about to say is it yeah. won't do any damage, but roll to hit, and he will do a, a, a saving throw to see if it blinds him temporarily. It would blind him for a round. Okay, so I just do the uh, the uh, devil fruit attack. Yeah, devil okay. fruit attack to see if you hit. Which you don't. <laughs> Shit. Oh. All right, well. You roll your logia, you put your hand up, and salt just sort of sprays out of your hand and just kind of drops to the floor. Arzen's not even looking at you. Shit! <laughs> he does it like salt Let's bay. get the hell out of here! <laughs> like salt yeah. bay. Just a salt bay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Damn it! You got, I got so excited there. It was a logia. I'm like, oh, man, I could turn it to fire or magma or some light. That would be cool. No. Salt. It was one of All acid. Right. It was one of acid. If you got 366, I'll tell you, you would have had acid. I would have, I would have had acid. All right, so keep that in mind. 366 uh. is the acid fruit, everybody. <laughs> well oh, then, guys. William, I say we get the hell out of here, I dude. I think it's about time we hit that old dusty trail, Ragnar. <laughs> Away! <laughs> okay, Ragnar, you're going to disengage? Yes, I have another question. My apologies. Oh, good. Which way to the closest lever? Or do we, like... Both of the towers... Other... Oof. To, to get there? Oof. Ah. Right. The reason why Pearl was going there is because there was water between you and the towers. Right? I'm saying Pearl's going to one of them. Yes. Is there another one that we can get to? Or... Um... William, which way? So... I'm terrible with navigation. Okay, so, so there are two towers. If you imagine, there's the gate in front of you. And by mm -hmm. either side of them, there is a tower. And so we're heading of... toward the gate, Ragnar. Yeah. Just toward the gate. Right. Yeah. 
Um, between the dock and the gate, there is water, and the towers have at the bottom little, uh, you know, platforms that you you would get a you would sail a ship out, you would un onboard the ship, and then you'd walk up the stairs of the tower, right? So Pearl was flying there. You guys would have to take a boat, sail. Are the oh are there boats? God. The boats are at there the are dock, boats. though, right? They're on they're okay. on marine vessels. Yes. So basically, you're just heading towards us. Yeah. All right. That works. We could also, William, if you'd like, we could run towards the big monsters, Monty, my boy, <laughs> to protect us. That's another option. What do you think? God. I'll cap Capitan. Oh, God. oh, God, you're asking me. Okay, well, I am the captain after all, yes. Um, I, I think they're, they're a little bit closer. Well, yeah, because we can head for them, maybe reach them, and then maybe I could we could talk to them and maybe help get like one of like blaze or a blake to help us and maybe we could get to the shore maybe we could do that that could help us out a yeah. bit yeah sure all right so let, let's head for them i guess ragnar okay you guys are disengaging and you can move yeah you move in the direction of hemlock and blake all right um I'm giving you putting you a little bit closer to durus as well yeah uh, durus it is now your turn Wait, am I still inside or am I outside? What the hell? You're you outside. Go. You're outside. You can see on the on the thing. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah Duras, you're kind of in the middle of everyone right now. You you oh, are boy. I mean, you can use your movement to essentially move and help anyone that you want. You just choose who you want to help. Do you want to help Hemlock and Blake? Do you want to help William and Ragnar? Do you want to help Verona and Pearl? Do you want to help Trevor? Up to you. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Hi. <laughs> Uh, this is. I mean, I could definitely persuade my boy, but I feel like Verona did a great job already. That I really don't need to say anything to him, even though I feel like I could really get him on our side. Do you guys want me to attempt to get him on our side, or wait? Who? I mean, I, I like mean, that, that would be help. very useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, I mean, if we tried, to, if we need to get a ship, anyways, I'm as pretty long sure as we're I can get Cyril to help having us a marine immensely. that can help us yes. get the ship would be invaluable in this situation. Cool. So yeah. All right. Yeah. And I will head towards Cyril. I will use my movement and use talk no jutsu on him as well. Hell yeah. All right. So you walk over to Cyril. Uh, my friend. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I just said you walk over to Cyril. Uh, uh, he's, he's my friend. You have been troubled, I see. Very <laughs> much so. Yeah. The look in your eyes. The same as mine back in the day. I too used to serve under the Navy. And I, too, have been scarred. Duros opens up his armor and shows just his battle wounds and everything. Left for dead. That's horrible. That's horrible. By the very people that I swore to protect and who I thought were on my side. But now, I am a free man. I am a pirate. I am a soul that is able to wander and do what I wish. Now, I know that, like you, who are Navy, you I was betrayed by, but... That does not mean that all Navy are bad. However, on the flip side, I am a pirate. And you, well, should naturally hate me. But that does not mean that all pirates are also bad. So, what do you say, friend? Will you help us on our journey? Will you come with us? And I will show you that, while being a pirate, I may be. We can still do our duty and protect those who are most precious to us. Because that is what I wish to do. I wish to protect the world and make it a better place for all. Beautiful, Duros. Roll charisma with advantage. Go ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> persuasion, persuasion, persuasion. 30. Pers persuasion. Roll persuasion with advantage. Um, out of your armor, the wolf is standing there, like, nodding as you were speaking. <laughs> like, yeah, listen to this guy. <laughs> 11. Lucky you had advantage. Heck w. Oh god. Lucky you had advantage. No, 11's good. You sure enough, my so. charisma? I thought it would be charisma on mine. But well, right. your persuasion is higher than your charisma, or at least it's the same number. So. Oh okay. Right. Uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> 11 is good enough. You only needed higher than a 10 for Ciro at the moment because he already oh, bumped it up by uh, by two spooky. So it was it was a medium. It was just 10. Um, Double talk. No, you just, just had to, close to the we edge. We just had to there do you. it just in case you actually just fucked it up. But you have advantage, so you're good. So Cyril um, looks up with tears on his face. His face is all tears now. <laughs> what is your name, Brave Knight? It is Duros. Duos? Yes. I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, if, if, if what you say is true, and there's bad na marines, but there's bad pirates, 
I don't know if I want to be either. I just want to make the world a better place. And that is exactly my aim too, friend. I know one thing for certain. That man over there, he points uh, a finger over at Arzen. He definitely does not make the world a better place. In fact, he really does the opposite. And I'm quite miffed. I... <laughs> then I will stand beside you. If you wish to fight, I will join you. Uh, yeah. He, he, he's gonna take a step forward, just slightly. Not more than five feet, don't worry. Um, and he, he goes... He sort of wipes some of the, the water off of his face. And he goes... I, w I will do my best. I... I don't want to cause any extra harm to any of my fellow marines. There, there are those that I, I love here and those that I care about. And I feel like their lives are in danger if that man continues to live. So... I... I will... I will help. Then let us go. He like claps him on the shoulder and smiles at him. Truly, you have turned into a remarkable man. Alright, well, okay, so Cyril's gonna fight Arzen now. Uh, which, uh, I don't know how well that's gonna go, but... Oh! Um, Doris. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is now Hemlock's turn. Um, oh, Doris will be there. It'll be fine. It will be fine. <laughs> uh, Hemlock's gonna run up to Marine... Uh, gonna, Hemlock's gonna jump on top of the back of Monty, do a backflip off of Monty, and try and stab Marine Captain Verona uh, in the chest. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> hey. She is yeah. indeed. Yes. Uh, she Ooh. hits. Ooh. Um. Oh, I didn't think for assassin it. dagger. Uh, not critically. Uh. Boo -boo -boo. He's. She's got to do a con save. Marine Captain Verona ain't so great at con saves. So if you imagine Marine Captain Verona is about as powerful as Marrow was, which now isn't that powerful. Uh. She fails the saving throw so hemlock spins in the air stabs marine captain verona in the chest and poison seeps through verona's body um she takes 32 points of damage uh hemlock smiles and then uses her cunning action to uh disengage um it's now pearl's turn pearl gets up and splashes the water off her and goes duros duros thank god you're here <sighs> no worries bro do you guys um Verona, uh, Duros, either of you uh, need a lift up to one of the towers? Um, I might need some extra help if they're guarded. Verona, what? can you... <laughs> Duros is a little bit too heavy, I realize. Yeah, it sounds like Duros has got his... He's going to be helping our water boy over here. Ah. Yes, that's right. We have unfinished business. By the way, Verona, I just want to get let you know you do have two med kits on you, according to my... Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm just making yep. sure, because <laughs> I don't know where your health's at right now, buddy. Um, I used a second wind, so I'll, I'll probably end up using another one just to be safe. Okay. But... Yeah, okay. Okay, so Pearl looks over at Cyril and goes, Hey, um, no hard feelings, all right? Uh, and then she smiles, and then her wings spread out, and she flies and grabs Verona. Um, okay. Cyril just sort of looks a bit flustered and goes, I, 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 Okay, uh... Oh, and, he, <laughs> um, and he's, he seems a little bit taken aback. Okay, uh. <laughs> so Pearl and Verona start flying off together. Um, you guys are going to be off map for... Sorry, Verona and Pearl, okay. you guys will be off map for... As we pass Cyril, I'm just going to yell to him, Viridian would be proud, and then just keep going. Just give him a little morale boost. It is now Cyril's turn. He steps up and goes, Okay, <sighs> I don't want to get close to the man, but I I, w I don't know what what, what what really happened to me. I think it was that weird that weird um, I, f I was like, why 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 is this pear blue? And the, the chef was like, I don't know. And I, w I was like, okay, I'll eat it anyway. Um, uh, and and then I got this weird I, 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 I can't f f fully con control it yet, but but I, I, w I would try my best for for Viridian. Uh, and he puts out his hand 
which is all like watery and stuff. And then he shoots um, like a like a water gun, like an I'm calling it like an aqua pump, which is the um, uh, royalty free version of hydro pump. Wow, okay. <laughs> hydro pump. <Okay. laughs> but it's like I don't know no, what but that it's like is. a quick from Pokemon. It's, but it's like an I aqua do. pump. I do. I was. I was <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, it doesn't hit uh, Vice Admiral Arzen. Um, of course, he's only just got this power, but it does. Um, it kind of like splutters and splashes and hits the ground before it reaches Arzen. Um, and Arzen kind of looks at the water on the ground and then makes eye contact with Cyril and then smiles a deep, creepy smile. Ah, this, this little boy. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, Getting he's, hunter hunter vibes. He's getting yeah, a little better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little, little little just a touch. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. How much water was it? Was it like a garden hose, or was it like a like a big like splash on the ground? I'd say like a bucket of water was just like on the ground. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That, that's <laughs> yeah, he's he's got a long way to learn. He's no yeah. Okay. Let me try. Um. He gave it his best. Damn it. All right, it's Blake. Uh, Blake is jumps onto the back of his of his giant fiery dog. Oh whoa! yeah, let's whack and roll, guys! Right, let's finish this mission. Let's do it quickly and let's get the heck out of here. And I write hemlock. Hemlock just ignores him. <laughs> oh, That's the hemlock I like. All right, Blaze, let's get going. Um, and he like grabs the hair of the dog and he 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 yells out. Ow! And the uh, dog breathes fire um, over Marine Captain Verona. Should do real quick. Uh, 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 Marine Captain Verona has to do a deck save, which she succeeds, unfortunately. Um, and only takes half damage as the as the dog breathes fire over um, Marine Captain Verona. Um, uh, the captain takes what is 16 car? Eight. My brain. Eight. Eight damage. So not that much. Barely, barely, barely scathed for the flames covering her body. Blake looks a little bit miffed, but then um, goes ah, fuck it. Uh, he whips out a chain that he, he has, he had like a chain wrapped around like a belt. He like pulls it out and he's got this chain and he Tosses it like a lasso um, to try and constrict Marine Captain Verona. This guy is so cool. <laughs> he He's is, got a fire dog and a chain. He's the, literally the coolest man ever. Uh, he hits with yes. the chain. Um, Marine Captain Verona has to do a strength save or is restricted. She succeeds the strength save, unfortunately. So oh, wow. uh, Blake flings the chain out. It does hit. It like wraps around and, and whips Marine Captain Verona, dealing substantial damage. But Verona manages to break free of the train chain, so it doesn't um, constrict her. Um, but there we go. That is Blake's turn. It is now Boss. Boss doesn't really do anything. He's still all a bit like disorientated. He's been starved and tortured for like weeks and weeks. Behind um, me on, half on Ragnar, I'll be like, it's it's okay, boss. We'll, we'll stay with us. We'll get you out of here. I told you not to come. I don't want you to die, William. All yeah, right. I, I don't either, and I'm kind of having second, you know, thoughts about coming here. But hey, we're in the present right now. What are you gonna do except strive for the future? Uh, <laughs> okay. It is right. now Arzen's turn. Arzen uh, looks over at Cyril. He looks over at uh, Trevor. He goes, is this? The fruits you were talking about, Trevor? The one that you got from uh, our friend Jason Locksworth over there? Um, I thought you had that in, you said, a very secure place. But it looks like this no-name marine, what is his name? Uh, syllable? I don't know. Um, he, um, he seems to have eaten it. Just another reason why you're such a failure as a marine, Trevor. Trevor. It looks like he's getting angrier and angrier again. Uh, but it's no matter. The Marines will be rid of a filth stain like you very swiftly. Um, now, 
he um, grabs his two tubes and he's going to stick him into the sides of Trevor. Um, I'm going to pump him full of this chemical. This good, this good, good, good chemical. I, I, I'm kind of rooting for Trevor now because I feel like he's really close to being dead here. I mean, not, not, I feel like Artisan is almost dead and I feel like Trevor could maybe finish him off here. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the frozen web camera stream. I don't know what's happening with my computer today. Oh. Uh, it's back though. Okay. Um, right, so he hits one of them, but not the other. Um, and that is 53 damage as he plugs it into Trevor. Just, tre you see, you kind of see Trevor's skin start to melt off his body as he screams. <laughs> ah, <this> is, ah, <laughs> ah. Um, his entire, like, he looks like he's getting weaker. He's becoming more skeletal. Trevor does look very weak. He's not quite dead, but he looks very, very weak. Um, it is now Trevor's turn again. And he's like, you are. It was your stupid subordinates that... Uh, I, I'm done talking with you, Arzen. I'm... Um, and he is going to slash this boy. His rage broke. His rage broke. Yeah. Um, oh, look, I found some popcorn. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Ragnar, there's just popcorn and Santa hats strewn about all over here. He actually hits three times again. Yes! Oh I don't know how he keeps hitting. Trevor, let's go! Do it! Uh, the moment one That's of these... That's a lot. You, you don't want them to die so fast, because the moment one of them dies, they're just going to come oh, up to you. Oh, that is true. That is true. Yeah. 80. 80 damage. As he slices. He's he's filled with such fury. And, um... Again, I apologize for the, the web camera's freezing. Um, but he's filled with such fury and anger that he he's just slicing in the same spot over and over again <laughs> um the like the arm arm and armament uh, i can't even say that stupid word armament who's no shoku yeah, the the <laughs> armament haki painting his sword this deep black color as it cuts and slices into arzen over and over and over again arzen isn't quite dead believe it or not but he is very very weak he's weaker than trevor is right now he he gets taken a, a, a back slightly he goes ah this ah this may be it's so good i might have to bring out my secret weapon um oh shit he's got a secret weapon <laughs> okay it's oh, no. i'm so sorry it's three marines in a row i don't know no, how no, it no, ended no. up with this but marine captain verona now that both of the monsters both of the snake and the uh dog uh in her sights she's gonna try and hit both of them at once with the with the laser vision which is uh zoom. lasers shoot out of her eyes um the dog oh gosh i got i have so many fucking things here the uh, dog and the snake um they both actually fail this time so they both take 27 damage as the uh lasers cut into their flesh uh, auntie blake goes blaze hang in there dude you got this come on uff, uff. <laughs> okay <laughs> william it's your turn dog in the background <laughs> yeah Verona, you're up. Uh, William, you're up. What, what William, the fuck? William, I was going to oh, say, oh, what? Okay, cool. <laughs> William, right, William, cool. you're up. I'm over um, there. You're over there. Yeah. Can we uh, head up over to, yeah, like Hemlock and uh, Blake, and I, I want to, like, ask them, like, hey, you guys want to help us get the hell out of here? Make it worth your while. <laughs> <laughs> after, you're, after you're finished with your uh, job, of course, yes. William, can you just be quiet for a second? We don't really have the time to deal with your little problem. We have a target here we need to take care of, and then after that, we will be getting out of here. Um, nah, I think you're gonna help us get out of here, Hemlock. Come on, old hey, time sake. William, William, it's okay. How about I help you guys, or we help you guys kill Verona, yeah. and considering like I'm kind of want to be a candle, and already am a candle, we'll take Verona out as quickly as possible and get the hell out of here. Uh, we'll let you our aid. Marines uh, fight each other. Aren't you just a bunch of darlings? Well, of course then, if you so graciously offer. A big, strong, handsome man like you will be so quick to do the job. I don't even think I need to lift a finger. I would just be relaxing here, conserving my energy, and then I will help you take care of your little marine problem. That sounds perfect. Thank you, Ragnar. And, uh, William. <laughs> you're making me blush. <laughs> um, 
I, Don't fall for it. I'm secretly, I'm <laughs> so happy to see you guys again. I know I... Oh, I'm sure, yeah. I missed your beautiful face, William. Um... I literally have the power of salt right now, so <laughs> not, not, not a great day for this. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all, all right, then. Well, can I uh, can I lend a hand then? Can I ahead. attack? Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, fuck. Can I, I, okay. Here's the thing. Before, when, before we got thrown in prison, I made a point to say I took off my sword and my gun, so I guess I don't have those anymore. Um, can uh -huh. I make, like a sword out of salt or something condensed like, salt condensed salt blade like crocodiles like sand sword shit like can okay. i do that yes you can but i will need you uh, to roll to see if it's successful and i will i will let you use or or how about like instead of a sword like i have to hit like a melee attack like a projectile like dagger or something hey, can i do that hey william can't you use like my javelin here as like a weapon like a melee weapon. Assault javelin. Uh, <laughs> Assault rope. javelin. I could literally coat a javelin with salt so when it gets in the wound, it hurts more. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. I, I, I think you. I think rogues can use javelins. They I, just... I would assume. We are rather uh, dexterous. He I probably just can't throw it, but I'm saying maybe he could use it as like a weapon since he's... I don't yeah. know. I, I really want something to throw because I don't want to like jump off of Ragnar. I kind of want to stay on Ragnar and like fire a projectile if I can do that. Yeah. What it do? Like, damage? You might as well fire your salt, no? Like putting salt in a wound, is that enough to just do damage in general or no? It would do one <laughs> point of extra damage. Oh no. god, well. <laughs> All right, yes, you can use well, no, no, yeah. salt. <laughs> you know what? I think I, I think because the damage, I'm just going to can I try the blind strategy and just aim for the eyes because that might actually have better use utility than trying to do damage. I think with you this forget thing. who you're facing. She does yeah. not have eyes. She has laser eyes. Oh, right. Eyes. Yeah. Laser <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Hey, well, you know, laser <laughs> eyes are still eyes. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's the one character you can't do that to. I can't, I can't reroll my fruit, can I? <laughs> no. Oh, You're okay. stuck with Salt Boy. Listen, it's I'm... great if someone tries to attack you. They have to use Yeah, Hucky no, or that's, that's, a, that's a positive. That's a definite positive. All right. I'm going to try the salt javelin spear. I'm going to try to launch a projectile of salt at Captain Verona. All okay. right. We're. We're going with that then. Throw it. All right. Here we go. Uh, well, no, it wouldn't be devil fruit attack because it's um. Oh, it... it's a javelin. Oh, and I, no, he's, uh, yeah. I think he said not. He was, he was just gonna shoot salt at him. No, he said he's throwing javelin. You're throwing he's a javelin. Throwing the right? javelin. I I just I, I I was gonna do like salt blade and then I was gonna do a javelin. I think I went back to salt blade, but you know, uh, I'm gonna just throw the javelin. Fine, we could do that. Yeah. Okay, Javelin uses okay. strength to throw. Okay, so I just roll for strength? You roll a, a, a strength plus proficiency. So All just right. do, I will add the proficiency, so just do a strength roll. Okay. So 14 and your proficiency is plus 3, so that's 17, that just hits. Oh, thank god. Your armor right. class oh. is 17. Ha ha! Salt Javelin Spear! <clears throat> so the spear flies through the air and uh, covered in salt. <laughs> And William has a plus three proficiency because um, they're level seven. So the the, the javelin hits um, Verona in the chest, adding salt to the wound. Do Try not to get too salty there, Verona. Roll a d6 plus your strength, which I guess All is right. also plus three, actually. So uh, a d6 plus three? Yeah. All right. Uh, William. Oh, nine. So nine yes. damage. Uh, all William's right. actually There's got some... really good stats out of all of the characters here. William seems to have at least a three in everything. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Con contrast to Duros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even me, it's like plus seven, minus three. <laughs> ah. mm. Beware of the power of the, of sodium. <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm balanced, but like you know, just balanced. <laughs> uh, okay, Ragno, you're up. Oh, can I use? Oh, could the salt raise his blood? Uh, <laughs> raise his blood pressure a bit. It doesn't. To cause... Hold up! Someone's asked about sneak attack. Sneak attack doesn't work because it's not a finesse weapon. Uh, yeah. It doesn't, salt work doesn't work on strength. Count. And a javelin isn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't be work on strength based weapons. So there's no sneak attack bonus. Man, I've been I've been itching to fight someone. Rustage, can I get close enough? These animals are so big, I can't even see Verona. Can I get close <laughs> enough to Verona to swing my axe? Um, 
No. But if you use your action surge, if you know your barbarian, no, you cannot. Unfortunately, you cannot. You can. All right, I'm gonna get as close as possible. You can still throw javelins. All right. And I will throw a javelin. You could throw two javelins. Oh. Two javelins. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you Ooh. hit both javelins. You, you. Oh yeah. In bear, you're, you're still on all fours in bear mode, and then you kind of get up on your hind legs. With the two guys on your back. I'm like holding on to your back. Two, two guys yes! on my back and double jab. Two javelins on you. Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay. Dude, I saw, a video, I, I, saw back, a video of a, I saw a video of a bear using nunchucks this week. That's totally legit just now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Alright. The javelins hit into Captain Verona. Doing 22 damage. Captain Verona is very weak right now. Um, yeah! Uh, she looks, she's sort of bleeding out on the ground. <sighs> hey, Captain Verona, that was for my my friend Verona. <laughs> <laughs> who? B names in your family. She, she so goes. In, in response to that, she goes, <laughs> "Who? Who the fuck is that?" And she has no context. Yeah. What you're a bear? I just doubt you would you. know or care. <laughs> this is bear attacking. <laughs> Just animals are wrecking her shit today, and she has no like a fucking zoo got released here. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Duros, you're up. Oh. Well, um, let's see here. I don't want to get too far away from my boy because I have to protect him. But, uh, shit. Um, let's see. How far away am, ever, am I from the, their fight, the Admiral fight? You would, uh, you would have to use Action Surge and Dash to be able to get near them. I um, think he's talking about uh, Arzen. Arzen? Oh, yeah. You, you're super far away from Arzen. Like, like 60 feet away. Yeah, at least 60 feet. Damn. Um, you're next to Cyril, though. I, I am next to Cyril, and I... If he moves up, can I move with him? It is in place of my movements. I'll, I'll just try and yeah, stick next you can, to him. Yeah, you can do a, um, I can't remember what it's called, but in D&D, you could do a thing where you kind of hold an action. It's for like, if something happens, I do this. And you can oh, say- Oh yeah, I want to do that. Cause I could, just want to stay by my boy. Okay, That's so you, you can hold uh, like a dash to be, if Cyril dashes towards the enemy, I will follow Cyril. I will follow him. That's cool. exactly what I plan on doing. I'm not sure if the rule works exactly like that, but we, we are going to use that because it makes sense to me. Um, yeah. So you're kind of foregoing your your action to do it a bit. Yeah, later. I'll I'll, I'll forego that, and I I don't know. Maybe I can like. Does anyone have low HP? Maybe I can boost you up with some rally. I I I, that, I got hit for the first time, so I'm 39. I'm should be all right. I think yeah. Ragnar's probably oh, at the lowest. Yeah, all right, weak. all right. I yeah. will give R Ragnar, my friend, a good rally then. I will. <laughs> right, roll your rally. <laughs> give yourself some spirit, my friend. And uh, where is my rally on the sheet? It's just your, it's you just a, um, was it a D10 plus your charisma? A D10 plus my charisma? So, okay, so R slash one uh, D10? Yeah, it's whatever that is. I think it's either D10 or D8, but I'm pretty sure it's a D10 now. I can't fucking remember, dude. I can't remember what okay. your characters. What? What's your charisma? Are you really for real? What's Holy your shit. Christmas plus? My charisma is three. Okay, so it could have been worse. You get five. It could have been worse. Five temporary hit points. It could have been worse. Duros, thank you, my good <laughs> man. You always got my back. No problem, friend. Kids, stay in there. Protect our captain. I will protect <laughs> well, our new friend. Oh my gosh. Okay. Take care of Water Boy. I've, I've, uh, I've got a. I, I really like him. No. By the way, Rustich, I just want to bring something up on the turn order. I think. Verona and no, no, Verona they're not there on here anymore. Because they're off. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're off. I was like, Don't worry, they're on there oh, yeah, for me. Yeah. I know what they're doing. Oh, okay, I was uh, just uh, like, yeah. No worries. I got it under control. They they had they you skipped a it. turn because they all they were doing was flying. Um, oh, okay, okay. So Hemlock uh actually just looks over at Marine Captain Verona and sees how weak and wounded she is, and he goes, Well, I think um Blake, uh, I'd like to uh, apologize and say that it looks like I will be getting the credit for this one. She walks over and she's going to just plunge a solitary dagger into the face of Marine Captain Verona. Just very effortlessly. Uh, and very suave. Um, ooh, 25. Whoa. That's a pretty good roll. Um, 
the piercing damage kills her, so I don't even need to do the saving throw. Uh, Hemlock just stabs Verona, like, in the face where it pierces her entire, like, robotic contraption, cuts it down, and just slices into her brain and just leaves the dagger there as the poison seeps throughout Verona's body and Verona starts like writhing on the ground in agony. And then Hemlock sort of puts a finger up to Verona's lips and goes, shh, it's okay, <laughs> it'll all be over soon. Um, and then Marine Captain Verona's body goes limp and falls into the ground. And then Hemlock pulls out the dagger, flips it around in her hand and puts it back in. And then Monty becomes Tiny Snake. Uh, and goes back into her pouch. Monty Lou. Oh, that was a job well done. Yeah, just uh, awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well deserved. Perfect. I wish Verona was here to see it. Oh, wait, I can see him in the distance. <laughs> I mean, I could just watch from was... the sky and be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I think it was me and Ragnar's javelins that kind of really, you know. But yeah. okay, you get the killing. Blow. All right. Pearl and. Verona, you guys have now reached one of the towers. You are now hovering outside of it, and Pearl lands on the window. And uh, Pearl is now there. I'm going to make Pearl and Verona have their turns at the exact same time, which will be Pearl's initiative, just to make things simpler. Um, as you land at the tower, Verona, you notice that there are two marines who are kind of just sitting there, half asleep. <laughs> they're just there next to the lever, and they're just... Verona. <laughs> just uh, say it. Pearl goes, wait, wait. What is it? Cyril's not a bad guy, right? Not... I would like to believe that he's not a bad guy. Well, that must mean that some of these Marines aren't all bad guys either. We can't just kill them, right? They well. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Depends> well. On... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we have to think about what's more important, our lives or theirs. But I will humor you. <laughs> the only thing is, how much noise is that lever gonna make when we pull it? <laughs> I think if I'm quiet enough, I might be able to get in there and just crank it. Really I don't. Quiet. I don't really think it's the lever that's the problem. It's when. Um, I I think yes, a. It will make a lot of noise. It's a huge fuck off lever. But also, <laughs> the I imagine this giant gate when that opens will also make a lot of noise. And look over the there. <laughs> look over there. She points over to a button. And it says right on it, emergency close. Ah. Okay, Pearl. Well, then I have a uh, a temporary solution. Are you, um, There's water below us, right? <laughs> we're gonna Let's just throw, throw them out them the window. The water. <laughs> Let's just throw them out the window. You they won't die. They won't die. How high up are you guys? <laughs> Pretty high up. We are. Yeah, you guys, as long as you hit water, you can live. It's fine. Remember that, that one time we got movie. knocked out of the sky from the Timberlord? We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, be we'll fine. be fine. They'll be know. fine. You can jump right. out of an airplane. It's fine as long as you hit water. You're good. Yeah. Um, okay. That <laughs> like hitting concrete, but all right. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I th okay. Um, sounds good to me. She picks up yeah. one of the Marines. <laughs> 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 Whoop. <laughs> just throws it out, throws it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Yeet! Yeet the Marines. Okay, next round, you're gonna, she's going to fly you over to the other. Are you going to pull this lever then? Yeah. All right, you, you grab the lever. It's pretty heavy. Hold up, I need you to do a strength. Uh, all right. Uh, boop. Okay, you Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> muscle, Verona. Muscle. Muscle. Oh. Muscle's fucking... You have a zero strength and you still manage to do that. That's crazy. Man, some of that fluid must still be in my veins, yeah. making me really strong and cool or something. Yeah. Wow. Epic. Verona. I didn't know you were so strong. It depends on what's happening. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, the adrenaline. I heard Duros' rallying cry from down there. Just, uh, <laughs> just gave me that extra power. <laughs> just the residual uh, rally. Yeah. Okay. Corona has been undergoing my weekly chat formation. <laughs> On Twitch. Okay. <laughs> you notice that the one, of, G fuel. one of the two, the one of the two doors starts slowly opening. Um. 
and you hear a, 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 a sort of yelp from the other tower where the two people in the other tower go, what is that? Okay, anyway, you'll deal with that on the next round. It's Cyril's turn. Uh, Cyril is going to um, go, May, I, I thought it was wrong. I, I could, may, maybe I'm just not close enough. Duras, I'm going in. No problem, friend. I'm right beside you. Muster your courage. All right. So you move with Cyril as he gets closer. He's not next to the Admiral, but he is closer now. And he pulls up his arm again. And he's going to try one more time to um, aqua, aqua pump this guy. He puts all his energy into this pump. Uh, and... He critically hits. He yeah, critically boy. hits. He critically yeah, hits. Boy. All right, Cyril, that was cool. That was because Duros was. No, no, no. Nice. You don't understand. You don't understand the gravity of this. You don't. Okay, you can't see the numbers, but that is it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Cyril puts his arm out, right? And he goes, I've got this. I have this. Uh, Duros, I need to rid the world of this corruption, this evil. And he fires out this blast of water from his hand, this jet that goes through the air and it pierces Arzen, who's not even looking at Cyril. Arzen's too busy focusing on Trevor. It pierces Arzen through the heart, unbeknownst to him. Arzen goes and falls over dead. Yeah! <laughs> My boy. I mean, most oh, of the work was done by shot. Trevor. But I can't believe that he got 30, which is exactly how much hit points Arzen had left. I could send you a screenshot of Arzen's wow, fucking health thing to, to prove it. Holy shit. Um, Cyril wow. got the killing blow off this guy. I didn't expect him to. I thought he was just <laughs> going to keep missing. Cyril! <laughs> Bro, talk now. I didn't think he would actually kill yeah. Arzen. Yo, his bounty's going to shoot up. <laughs> we got to... Oh, Hopefully damn. we can take credit for this. I feel bad for Cyril. Cyril has to come with us now. He just got killed the Vice now. Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> the body... Oh my god, can you imagine if this story got out? Like, a freaking recruit just kills a fucking Vice <laughs> Admiral. <laughs> like, I mean, it, Jesus. Is, it really is the situation of, like, um, you've, you've already cut off all the legs of the giant elephant. You know, you beat him yeah. in a bunch of times. It's dead, yeah. lifeless body is on the ground, and you... And then some kid comes over and kicks it in the head and it dies. It's the straw that broke the camel's back, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> Arzen, Arzen would destroy Cyril by just, like, tapping him. But it just... <laughs> Trevor he, gets, had... he, he, he gets the XP. There you go. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah. Absorbs that HP. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my <laughs> God, Cyril. Oh, fuck you're you're coming with us now. <laughs> oh... Cyril looks over and, go and looks at his hands and goes, D Did I do that? I you did, my friend. You have uh, rid the world of a great evil. I will. I, uh, uh, it's. <laughs> I, it's. <laughs> he, he's overwhelmed with emotion. Happiness he killed Arzen. Sadness for taking a man's life. What, what has he become? All these thoughts running through his head as he kind of collapses to his knees, exhausted. Uh, Trevor now. It's not his turn, but Trevor does look round after Arzen's lifeless corpse drops to the ground. Um, and he, he, he looks round at William and Duros and everyone else, and he goes... He comes down a little bit. It's like, right. Now I need to deal with this problem. Um, it is Blake's turn. Oh, okay, um, cool, Blake. <laughs> Uh, Blake looks around to William and goes, Oh! You must be William, right? Yeah! Your hair looks awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude! The name's Blake! It's nice to meet you! He puts out a hand to, like, shake your hand. Yes, of course. I'm like, I'm gonna try to, I don't know if you want me to roll for it, but I'm gonna try to, because I can kind of, like, read people, so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna try to get on this guy's good side, because we kind of need him <laughs> to get out of here. So, <laughs> I, uh, the name is Blake. Fourth candle. I mean, I'm fine with telling you guys that. You guys already know about the candle. You must be Ragnar, right? Hey, yeah. Blake, how's it going, man? Yo, your muscles are bigger in person. I mean, Hemlock was describing them to me, but wow, they they blow me out of the water. I mean, look at these things. Ugh, they're not Did great. Did you but... flip shit with the javelin, Blake? Wasn't that so damn cool? Yeah, right. Uh, man, I didn't know you had the ability to turn into salt. Hemlock said you had a completely different ability. That's crazy. 
Yeah, it changes like literally with the wind, but yeah, we should be getting out of here. That's a pretty cool chain belt you got there. <laughs> ah, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty rad, dude. I like that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I'm like a bro hug yo, and just kind of like, yeah, man. This, this, this dog, doggy, my best friend, his name is Blaze. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Hey, Blaze, this is William. This is Ragnar. Who's the old dude on, 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 behind you? Uh, that's just the guy that raised me and then he abandoned me and now he's some kind of unicorn tiger we, fish we, person. I, I, we, we gotta get him somewhere safe too. He's barely alive right now. Ah, you know what? That makes sense. We all been But there. you look like just the radical guy to help us out. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you got a contract for me? Woo! Hey, hey man, I, I, I can pay you. If we, I, I, you know what? I can pay you money and I can also get you a damn fine clam chowder back at our ship. You can help us get off this Yo, island Yo, you right know now. me. I love clam chowder. I actually kind of yeah, just love right. all Woo! food. I mean, I just, you know, food, top three things. Food, food, food. Actually, it's food fighting and dogs. But... <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, you know what, man? That's, that, you know what? I get it, totally get it, yeah. Oh, you know Gravy, right? Gravy, how has he been? He makes the best food, yo, right? He yo, makes Gravy's that bangers and mash. a nice meal for us after this eventually. You guys oh, yeah, know we're Gravy? heading back there right now, in fact, yeah. Yo, Hemlock, you didn't tell me that they knew Gravy? Hemlock kind of awkwardly looks around. Uh, you can tell that Hemlock has actually kept her word and didn't reveal the location of Gravy to, um, like, Information oh. on gravy. Oh. All right. <laughs> like, well. Why didn't you tell me about gravy? I was so worried about that guy. Uh, you know, he was one of the best. Dude, the way he oh, killed I people. I kind of said that by accident. I don't think Hemlock actually knew about that. But yeah, he's been cooking for us. Uh, he's a great cook. He's such a jolly guy. I love yo, him. Yo, yo. Dude, he was one of the best. The way he killed people, it was like no other, man. I mean, he really is the spiritual soul for our team. Uh, killed people? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, well, right. yeah. I How mean, he... I know he used to kill people, but it's hard to picture him like that, you know? He's oh, such man. a gentle, gentle soul. Oh, yeah, he's a gentle soul until you piss him off, man. Until he has a contract. He's one of those gotta get the job done sort of types, right? Uh, yeah. Man. So what's our move from here? Is he still a Boris with him? What? Boris. Boris. I've not, I've never... Oh, is that his animal companion? Yeah, the boar. I oh, didn't that's see so a... cool. I didn't see it. Ragnar, did you see a boar? I didn't see I a didn't, boar. I didn't, but I'm sure he still has it. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe there's a boar hanging around. Yeah. Uh, huh. But anyway, yeah, I think we should get the hell out of here and we should go see him. We have no contract for Trevor, so I don't really see the point of killing him right now. Sorry, I'm number yeah. five. Hold up. I. He's five. He's number five. Gravy was number four. Blake is number five. I said the wrong number. No, no, no. Hey, I didn't even notice. <laughs> what number am I again? You're we'll, six we'll, currently. We'll edit six. it in. We'll edit it in. <laughs> I'm number five. I have number five. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So. Uh. Right. So contract. Right. Who do you yeah, want me to kill? Contract. What, what do I got to do? Do I got to like uh, cut my hand or something? Like, how does this work? <laughs> Hold up. Um. Hemlock, we had a uh, an, another person we had to kill, right? Um, another one the boss really wanted dead under no circumstances, leave him alive situation, like Captain Verona here. Hemlock kind of looks awkwardly around, and Blake goes, "So, so who was it? Who was it, man? I can't, I can't fucking remember. You have the the contract on you." Hemlock goes, "Blake, um, we uh, uh, we we could we could deal with that." We could deal with that later. Let's help our lovely friends here first. Sure, that's fine with me. Killing is killing. All right, who are we fighting? Uh, um, we're 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 gonna get a boat and we're gonna get the hell out of here. Unless you have a better idea. William, and it seems like he's yes. more willing to fight. We could we could pay we could play we could pay Blake to kill Trevor. Or if you wanna, goes. well, you could stall Trevor. That would be great to have I, him like out of our hair for a little while. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he's your he's your brother after all. Do you care? Like, like what, what's your what's your preference? I mean, here? I, my my precedence is being the captain of this crew and making sure every one of you get out of this place alive. Okay. Well, so and speaking... I just met I met Trevor like two weeks ago. I really don't have a lot of familial attachments to this guy. Okay. Well, speaking of being alive, Trevor looks like he's standing on one leg right now. Yeah, what? he does look pretty. Just yeah. so you guys know as well, Hemlock and Blake do not recognize Boss because of all the weird hem animal like, things. That's oh, why yeah, he asked who it was. That's why I was going to say his name and I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. He's like semi-conscious right now, yeah. yeah. Oh, How much would it cost? Trevor, that's the guy who hired that contract that we were doing. The one that got scrapped because um, I can't even, because this one took priority. 
Yo! You want me to kill that guy? I don't think the boss would like that very much. How much is he paying you? Yeah. Oh no, it's not about payment. I mean, it is about payment a little bit, but that's that was a that was a contract straight from the boss. I I feel like if we kill the guy who gave out the contract, the boss would not be happy. Can't help you with that, guys. I mean, I'll fight this, that. This I'll is, fight that blue boy over there. No, no. I mean, he seems like he's helping us. He seems. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's Cyril from the freaking lunch hall. Remember that guy? Yeah. Because it's like I guess with the people, like we don't remember like we weren't there with Duros when he had the whole conversation and everything. So yeah. Well, um, then I guess. Let's just get out of just here. Help you escape. <laughs> All right. We hijacked a marine vessel to get in here, but it seems oh, like there's oh, plenty oh. of them. Yeah, cool. Duros, we're bailing. Come on. <laughs> All right. I shall follow, Captain. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he's going to run ahead uh, with him. Cool. Uh, it is now Vice Admiral Arson's turn, who is dead. So well, he's dead. So uh, he spends his turn as a corpse. Cool. Oh, yeah. great. Good job. Oh my god, I can't you, believe he died. As you're, uh, is anyone looking at him? What? Is anyone oh, looking at him? I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> have been. Well, I'm, I'm Forever, focused on. Yeah. Duros is. Okay, so Duros. Cereal, you, you notice yeah. that some of the uh, liquid from his tank is still like seeping into his body, and but nothing really. Just you feel like you can see his skin kind of bubbling slightly. Uh, um, it's Trevor's turn. Oh, no. Trevor um, turns around and he walks and he goes Cyril was your name C Cyril goes yeah yes yeah 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 you are a shining example of justice Cyril this man was a stain on the marines I'm giving you a promotion William yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you, Trevor. I love these family get-togethers, but I think it's time we uh, I, I head home for a little while. This is your last chance, William. I've had the worst, literally the worst day today. And oh, yeah, you're talking. Try preaching to the choir on that one, buddy. This is your last chance. You either join the side of justice or you taste the end of my blade. Trevor, look, you might think that we're brothers and we got this bond, and maybe we might be biological brothers, whatever. All right? You guys are biological a, brothers. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just like, it's just like for William, it's just like he just met him and he's not yeah. really that attached. And he's just like, look, man, I, I'm, I'm the captain of the Devil's Luck Pirates. This is my crew, and I'm going to make sure we get out of here alive. All right? This is our family. This is our family. I might not be as strong as Ragnar, or as loyal as Duros, or as intelligent as Verona, and I'm not a damn dragon like Pearl, but I feel like the luckiest man alive right now with my family. <sighs> Wrong answer. And he, he rushes Arf. up to you with his sword in hand. Okay, um, here we go. That's a lot of feet. He's actually yeah. surging. He's dashing. Okay. Oh he yeah, is, of course. Uh, okay. Um, he rushes forwards. He pulls out his blade. Uh, this is very likely going to knock you unconscious. Uh, it won't kill you, uh, but it will definitely well, knock you unconscious. Well, let's see where we go from here. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I'll avenge you. Don't worry. Ooh. Yo, why is oh. his attack so bad against you? <laughs> yes. Why? Why? Oh, yeah. Trevor he was hesitates like, against his own brother. He his own flesh and blood. His own I can see you, Trevor. I can see you. I... You're not fully putting everything into these attacks. You don't really want to do this, do you? I could so, I could so use a luck point for that for one of those. But I'm like, I don't think I need to because no. I don't think that might not even knock me out with the half damage I could take with my uncanny dodge. So, you... all right, let's see what we got. Sensei How many uses of uncanny dodge do you have? Because you don't. Wait, you have it once oh. around. Oh, yes, I, yeah, I think it's just once per round, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. then, yes, yeah, sure, go ahead. Well, he does that 34 damage of one of the attacks, which wouldn't okay. even knock you unconscious anyway. Okay, so that's half of that, right? Dude, this man could, did, like, up to 106 damage in one turn against Arzen, and he you, you <laughs> halved that damage, and he does, like, 19 or whatever against you. Because I, I have the Devil's Luck, sir! You are Jesus so Christ. fucking lucky. He runs up to you. He slices. He cuts into you. Bro, he, 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 I'm like, I'm on the back of like, Ragnar, like doing like gymnastics. <laughs> you're like, like dodging whoa. him. 
Um, oh my god. And then <laughs> oh, oh. the critical fail. And then the, with the last one, you dodge him so well that you knock the blade out of his hand and disarm him. <laughs> oh, can I grab his sword? I want his fucking sword. <laughs> uh, I was gonna, I was gonna kind of make that a thing. I, will let I really you wanted that sword. Roll a dexterity right now. Okay, okay, just dexterity alone. Just a dex alone. He I can said catch dex. With salt. Oh my god, does he catch the fucking salt sword? arm? Okay. Luck point. Luck point. <laughs> so you gotta, you wanna use a luck point on that? Okay. To catch on. that sword, I want that fucking sword. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then, I, then I'll let you get the twenty then, because that's if you had rolled it again. So. <laughs> You, yeah, he all right. critically fails, and the, you knock the sword out of his hand, and then Bang! you grab the sword. Yes! That was so Bro. fucking cool. <laughs> oh my god. And you hold the sword there. In I your told hand. you I wanted this fucking sword! <laughs> Duros, I got the sword! Trevor looks. Great job, Captain! I've never been so proud! Trevor looks <laughs> bewildered. And look whose turn it is. William's turn. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay, I have a sword. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. He's right in front of me. Would the, would the salt idea to blind him be better? Because I don't know how much damage I'm going to be able to do with this sword. Because he had hockey with this thing. True. It's also uh, a strength-based weapon and not a dexterity-based weapon. So you kind of actually cannot use that sword at all. <laughs> really, you're really well, shitty whatever. with it. Whatever. I have his sword. Whatever. It's I a, had a sword. Okay. It's a strength-based gonna... martial weapon. So I actually don't think you have even proficiency with it. So... All right. Well, I have it. Okay, you have I'm it, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try to use the uh, the salt spray like right in his face and try to blind him. All right. Sure. Roll your uh, devil fruit devil. roll, and he will do a, a Constitution saving throw. Twenty one. All right. Wow. Nice. He fails the Constitution saving throw. Oh, I did. Pocket <laughs> sand. You spray <laughs> salt in his face after stealing his Pocket fucking salt. sword. <laughs> Oh you spray God. salt in his face, and he gets blinded for a turn. Okay, I gotta, I gotta say one thing out of character really quick. I have another character I played in D and totally tried to do the pocket sand thing before with my sorcerer, and it failed. And I'm so glad it worked here. <laughs> pocket I, salt. I honestly am just astounded that, <laughs> that that this that those last two turns went the way that they did. I was like, okay, so Trevor's just gonna cut down William. He's yeah, gonna he's just gonna knock me unconscious and then right? Ragnarus can get me out of there or whatever. But yeah. He knocked his sword out of his hand, grabbed it, and then sprayed salt into his eyes, and now he's blind. <laughs> 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 now, wait, wait, wait. Before, before we continue, I did take damage there, right? I took half of 34. Yeah, so he took 17. Uh, I took 17. Okay, I gotta calculate that. You did take that, some damage. Other than that, other than that, Holy shit. I mean, that's entirely <laughs> off the rolls. If this happened in the manga, I would be like, nah. That's too unbelievable, man. Nah. There's no way that Luffy could have nah, gotten away from Katakuri that many times. That's so cool, crap. <laughs> that was indeed Pog, if I've ever seen It's the same with Cyril critting with his fucking oh. aqua pump. If that happened in the manga, Just I would have been like, <laughs> nah. Sha! <laughs> And then uh, I grabbed his sword for extra measure. Oh my god, that's incredible. Uh, okay. All right. Ragnar, it's your turn. I'm all out of rules and all out of luck points, though. So, Ragnar, you gotta get us the hell out of here. Hey, Trevor. What? It seems you hesitated while trying to fight your family. The difference is I'm fighting for mine. And Ooh, now. That's I think such I... a good line. All right. Swing with my great axe. You critically hit with your great axe. What is going oh. on? Oh. Do it. Do the damage. Oh my well, God. It's a lot. You, you still have a second attack as well. I know, I just wanted to see if that was enough to kill him. I didn't know. Are you yeah, not? Wait, 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 God. I mean, I'd rather kill him, but like, <laughs> you know what? Just, I, you look at me and I, I, I just kind of like, eh. It's like, but whatever, you know. All right, non lethal really? damage it is. All right, do your second oh, attack. Man. This is insanity. Hit again. So you slice into this. Uh, it's him twice. That's just 10. So in total, doing 29 damage. You're, how are you cutting into him? He's not dead yet, but how are you cutting into him? I missed double, this aiming for the chest, double swipes he in double bear form. Double slice him, uh, blood dripping down his chest. Ugh. He's weak. He is very wounded. 
Uh, I mean, he's just... I mean, he most of his life was taken out by Arzen. Remember, Arzen can kill most of you guys in one shot. Oh, yeah, Arzen. Yeah, they they jacked each other up quite a bit. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay. I can't dive Trevor's HP, but I can see everyone else's. Is oh, that's so scary. Sorry. That's scary to me. That's my bad. There it is. Oh! <laughs> okay. You know what's great, Dragnar, is because he was blinded, you get advantage on those rules, but you did so well anyway that it doesn't even matter. It didn't even matter. Right, so uh, do you want to... You... If you disengage now, he'd get an opportunity attack. You can't disengage, so I assume you're staying here. Um, mm -hmm. Duras, you're up. Well, Zero, you did an amazing job, my friend. Got a promotion. And you, you should also be safe now without my protection. But I don't like the looks of what's happening to uh, the Vice Admiral Arzen. Feels like he might either revive or he might blow up into some catastrophic event. Neither one, I don't think it's safe for us to remain here. So Duros picks Cyril up over his shoulder. I'm gonna action search and book it over to my captain. Okay, cool. Duros, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, if I can. Yes. Get over here, man. You don't even need to use action search. You don't need to, it's only like three. Yeah, you're close enough to your captain that you don't need to action search with that. Okay, then I'll just book it. You just book, book it, it over to your captain. captain. So everyone's now next yeah. to each other, next to Trevor. Can Duros attack Trevor? Yes. Actually, oh, okay, well then. Knock I him out, man, he's gonna kill us. I will us. knock out the cap, uh, Trevor. I, I'm, I'm sorry for this. I know you're my captain's brother, but I, I have to do what I have to do. Uh, is it, wait, am I in melee range? Wait yep, yep, okay. you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, 17? He's gonna, oh, he doesn't have a sword! <laughs> he doesn't have a sword. <laughs> <laughs> William's uh, in the background holding up the sword like, ha ha! Oh, no, it, it's, no it still doesn't hit, though. It's He's got an 18 arm cost. Uh, Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Thought well, he had 17, but he didn't know he had 18. Yeah, go ahead. That one hits. Oh, that one works. You hit him with <laughs> the second sword. Wait, 13, wow. 13. He is also blinded, but that doesn't matter because the advantage still wouldn't uh, fit. 13 damage. Yeah, you, you, you haven't killed him yet, but you have cut him down he is so low um bleeding out uh, he is wounded angry determined brother why why would you be why do you not hate this man he killed our parents why would you do so much to save him uh, I lived my life pretty much on the street, you know, and that whole, you know, family and, you know, blood is thicker than water thing. It, it just, I, I'm sorry, it clearly has more, you know, bearing for you than me. It's just, we were raised differently, man. What are you going to do? By the way, I have well, your sword. <laughs> and, and also, friend, uh, enemy, I'm not sure. Uh, are, are, are your vice admiral is about to do something over there. You wouldn't happen to know what that is. Fucking As I can. The bubbling Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's not very nice. Don't talk <laughs> to girls that way. I... Uh, it's I, trying to be helpful. You pirates, you come in here, you ruin everything. I just wish there was real judgment in this world. Uh, hey, Hemlock. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'll, I'll, uh, owe you, I'll owe you one forever if you just knock this man out for me. Blake already graciously put the words in my mouth. It uh, would be against um, our code to kill the man who hired us. Um, the boss would be very upset. But as much as I would love to stick my dagger in his pretty little ribs, I will um, have to decline your offer, Ragnar. But Understandable. Have a nice day. Kill him. Just take the knife and just maybe knock him really hard on the head. Like that's that's something you could do. <laughs> I just feel like attacking this man will um, violate our code. Um, mm. And you know I am a maiden of honor. After all, I don't do any slickery. She sort of slickery. I don't do any slickery. Is that a word? Trickery? I don't do trickery? any. Tr I don't trickery? do any trickery. She says as she leaves. Ah, wins. okay. Um, and she, she slowly walks towards the ship with Blake. Okay, Pearl and Verona. We're back yeah, to that. There's so much shit going on If today. you guys remember, Pearl and Verona. Hey, uh, what's up? 
So as hey. as this first door opens, the the two men in the other tower go, ah, what was that? And they look out the tower and they see you cross the towers. Um, Pearl's like, okay, should we just knock him into the water? Yes. All right. Yes. Do you want to sh shoot their legs? I would love nothing more than to shoot their legs. <laughs> go ahead. Roll. You have two attacks. You can shoot both their legs. You hit both of their legs. <laughs> You. <laughs> Do I even need to roll the damage, or can I? Red Dead it? Redemption shit. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> you you fire off your two shots, and it hits both of them in the legs, and they fall off into the water. Oh my god! Oh my god! I hope they can see. Yippee ki yay! <laughs> Pearl then flies over, uh, uh, grabbing you and leading you into the room. And there's another lever in this room, and she's like, "You did the last one." Let me try this one. Do Show think, me those guns. Do you think Pearl can do it? I think Pearl can do what it. She eats it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. She cannot do it. <laughs> Pearl grabs the lever and just... Oh, how did you do this, man? Oh, Veruna. Oh, oh, it would be easy if this bloody thing could move by itself. Oh. <laughs> well, let me see if my good old guns can... You don't have any it. action, so you can't pull oh. it. You do, okay. however, yeah, have, have a, a bonus action. You do, however, have a bonus action. You're speaking my language, Pearl. I'm just gonna walk up. Uh, and <laughs> oh animated. yeah, there you go. You animate the lever. The lever go goes. <laughs> it is I, the lever. I am the one that controls the gate. Bid me a command, and I will lead you out into the vast ocean. Open the gate, lever. And I shall. Do as you command. <laughs> Once it's down, I'm gonna deactivate it too, just in case. Oh. <laughs> it's the noise it makes. This is all I was meant to do in my existence. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the second gate slowly starts to open. Everyone can now all see right. the gates opening up. All right, Pearl. Let's go get a ship. Okay. Um. Pearl picks you up and you're gonna launch out and start flying. It is Cyril's turn. Cyril's kind of hiding behind Duros now and goes, Duros, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, this this man, he's always so mean to the marines, but he's so powerful as well. But I I don't know. Is it... He, I don't think he's done anything truly terrible like Arzen has. No, he's not a despicable man but he's not a good man either but and we, we wish to share no bloodshed of him right now he is our now captain. you should just probably if you, if you just want to knock him out for maybe you, like one to two hours that would help us out yes, like big time. It would, it would, yeah it would greatly improve our situation of living uh if he was knocked out all right he's going to try and uh knock him unconscious by my drowning him waterboarding him Hell yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna be the oh my same. God, it's like yeah. <laughs> it's still gonna be the yeah. same role. It's still gonna be the aqua pump, but he's gonna aim it at at his mouth. Why does he? Why is his role so good? <laughs> my man, plus, plus taking Trevor, out Trevor, 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 and Arzen. Okay. Plus Trevor's still blinded, right? So yeah. It's a it's, it's a crit. <laughs> yeah. Trevor is still blinded, so it's with advantage. So he critically hits yep. Trevor as well as Arzen, right? He puts up. It's non-lethal. He puts up his hand against Trevor's mouth and sprays water down Trevor's throat so that Trevor chokes on the water and knock and falls unconscious. A fine job, Zero. A fine job indeed. This new power, it's... it's uncontrollable. I... I'm... I am scared, Duos. I don't know if I can... Hey, Zero. I also we'll possess take... a power very similar. I'm a bear. My friend William also has a fruit. Verona also has a fruit. Don't worry. Why are you laughing? I just love the phrase. Don't worry, Cyril. I'm a, I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. I'm a bear. <laughs> with, and we have a dragon that, that, with us as well. It takes time, yeah. but you will learn to control that. That way you could use it how you would like to and not hurt innocent bystanders. God. That is pretty damn funny. That's just how Ragnar, that's how he could do to console people. Like, I do the card trick thing. He's just like, I'm a bear. It's okay. I'm a bear. 
This is not how I expected this to go at all. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, mean, I don't think anyone expected so... I thought so... I would be unconscious like half an hour ago, you know? Oh, I thought... See, I, the goat. <laughs> I honestly thought... Oh, God, I... I oh, gosh, I did not expect Cyril to be the one to kill both of them. Just, I mean, <laughs> it's not like he did that much damage. Oh, well... He just kind of finished them off. The Trevor's, well, Trevor's not dead, right? He killed one. No, yeah, unconscious, dead. unconscious. Not yeah. damaged. Yeah, he's unconscious. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, it's your decision, my man. Would you like to stay here as a Marine or come join us and be free as pirates? Live how you want to live. Act how you want to act. And in this case, protect. be the man, you, be the man you want to be. Protect the people you want to protect. What were, you, what were you saying, Duros? Your life is ahead of you, Cyril. You have many roads so ungone that you cannot even imagine where they will lead. But you have to take, be brave and take that step forward of which way you want to go. This is that time where you reach the fork in that road. Join us, stay here, or live on your own. It matters not, but I will always know Always know that you will be our friend. Thank you, Duos. Then I just step up and I'm like, also, just being a little bit realistic here, you killed like a commanding officer, plus you knocked out another commanding officer. They, if you stay here, they will probably, you know, yeah, that throw might you be in an jail issue, yes. that, or I, kill I, you. So yes. I mean, like, I'm not like, hey, <laughs> hey, you're invited on my ship. That's cool. I'm just saying you could stay here. I don't think it's going to work out for you tomorrow morning. You know what I mean? I, uh, you got a lot of stuff to answer for. I don't r really want to be a Maween anymore. But can, I don't... can any of us like roll to convince him? I, well, I don't really know him. if I want to be a pirate either. William, that is your name, White. Your brother yeah. was saying it. Yeah, it's I, William. Will, you know, whatever. I um, I will accept your offer to leave on your ship, but I don't know. I think I might have to find my own path after that. I have a lot to, th to, to think about. I feel like my life's been flipped, turned upside down. So let me just take a moment and just sit right here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story about a land called Clown Town. We're going to be heading toward... <laughs> We're going to be heading back there shortly. Also, I, not my I was ship. the same thing. Not Real my talk, ship. No. <laughs> William, ahead. William. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know this is your brother, but clearly, he, clearly he's made the decision to try to kill us. Oh, yeah. Several times, is, in fact. Yeah. Do we just run away and leave him here unconscious for him to attack us again later? I feel like our top the priority. The Sorry, go ahead. I feel like our top priority should be like this is an entire marine base and we just killed like one, two, three of like the strongest, but there's probably gonna be a lot of people coming after us here. I feel like we should just try to book it and get out of here as fast as possible. Also, and, also, yes, may, might I add, he has a contract on your I don't know if they can hear me, yeah. so I'm trying to whisper. Yeah, 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 on, yeah, whisper, yeah. On on you know who. Um yeah, I don't know don't... if it's entirely gone. Or just pushed aside. Just tell you what, don't they don't seem to recognize him. Don't say the JL word, and maybe we can make this work out. Larry. Yeah, his name's That's Larry. His we'll name's call him Larry. Larry for now. I, I go down to Bob, out here. Bob is like barely conscious. I'm like, by the way, your name's fucking Larry, okay? <sighs> Got that? You know? Yes. <sighs> okay. Remember, like we always, you know, came up with different names when we were conning people. It's Larry. Got it, Larry. He looks over at you, <laughs> and one of his eyes eyeballs fall out. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, I, oh. I, I, I squish it back. Oh, in. oh god! Yes. Oh god! Oh god! It's oh, so squishy. Oh, <laughs> salt in his eye. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, god. oh god! I'm sorry. Oh, god. I'm sorry. I'm just. Oh god. Okay. I'm not used to being so salty. Oh, fuck. Uh, wait, hold up. Hey, <laughs> Yo, that's a combat over, actually. I don't yeah. even need to go down the turn yeah, order anymore. Over, yeah. Trevor and Arzen have been dealt with, which I did not expect. <laughs> Everybody's taken care of. Everyone's taken care of. You guys... Right. Turn order out. Um, Victory pose. Okay. You guys can now da, 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 da. all head onto the same ship. Um, 
Are you going to head onto the same ship as Hemlock and Blake? Or, like, are they going to go on a different ship? I mean, uh, where are you guys heading? As we're, as we're running, I'm like, where the hell are you guys going? Oh, we have another contract we need to take care of. But first, I don't think it's a super high priority. Um, I f I'm feeling kind of generous today. So we're going to be heading back to the, um, to the base first before we continue our, our work. Isn't oh, is that, that right, is Blake? Oh, woo! <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't wait to go drinking uh, again. Yo, I wonder what Valentine's up to. Well, what about Cleo? Cleo's been out for ages. Man. Oh, God, by the way, if you want to take Cleo with you, you know, we have her. <laughs> Do you know Cleo? You've met Cleo? Yo, isn't Cleo a uh, laugh? I must say, Blake, I like you. I, I don't like Cleo, I, man. She's kind of annoying. Yo. She's <laughs> very, very, very eccentric. Interesting. A very eccentric individual. I'm just being on, honest, one man to one man. Like, I can only handle so much of Cleo, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to piss off Blake. Because she so I has gotta, so much yeah. energy. Yes, of course. Boundless energy. Yep, it just That's... never ends. Right, I mean, uh, huh. <laughs> I always thought Cleo was funny. I mean, isn't that right, Hemlock? Blake, just shut up. Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I agree well, with Hemlock. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right. Um, if, okay. we're, if they're going in a different direction, because because can I say, like, we're going to be heading back to where, you know, Gravy was moored. So, like, I'll say we're heading, I don't know, northwest or whatever. Are you heading in that direction? Because if not, we got to get another ship. Nah, you we're... Know? We're gonna be heading back to the base, and we can't tell okay. you where that is. Isn't that Fair right? Fair enough. Headlock? Fair enough. All right, Ragnar Duros, we gotta get a ship. Uh, I look up at the towers and see. Can I discern anything that's going on up there? You can there, see or... that the gates are opening. Okay, cool. Yeah. Then, like, all right, Verona and Pearl. Th man, this is working out great today. All right, let's <laughs> let's get to a ship. Okay, so you guys board a a marine vessel, the same one that you arrived on. Oh, cool. Because uh, nice. you know its layout. Um, oh, cool. Like home. And as you get on the ship, um, and you're like, sort of looking around it, getting your bearings, you notice that uh, sort of asleep on the ship is an old man marine. He's just sort of lying oh, no. there sleeping. <sighs> Captain, don't. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like holding the sword. Like... It, it, is the, it is the old man from beforehand when you guys were sailing. You know, the one that was complaining all the time. The man that Ragnar tried the frame low key, but it ended up being Cyril. Cyril, yeah. Uh, can I just pick him up gently and put him outside of the yes. ship? <laughs> you just pick him up. I don't him. always kill old people. I'm saying that as I'm like whipping, like flinging the sword. Like I'm not throwing in... it, but I'm like swinging it around in his direction. Like I don't always kill old people. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So you 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 kind of cradle him in your arms and you lay him oh, on the him, dock. Give him a little head pat. Give him a little. <laughs> give, him a little... Uh, give him a little blanket and a pillow. Yeah. Tuck him in. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, friend. All right. Ragnar, raise the anchor. We got to pick up Rona and Pearl and then get the hell out of here. Um, Ciro actually goes, uh, guys, uh, if, if, I'm, if I'm allowed to, to speak. Yeah, go ahead. I, We're not um, assholes like Arzen. Go ahead. Uh, I feel like we, we got to get out of here fast. I have a... An, that was uh, the plan. I have an idea. Um, m m m uh, I... J j just wait here and he he kind of rushes okay. off and he goes over to the corpse of marine um captain verona and kind of picks up the um her eye thing a laser eye thing and Ooh. rushes over to the ship and he oh that's a good idea he then like <laughs> turns he sort of goes um he goes i i i know i've got a, a water fruit but i i i don't know if i could go into the water could any of you attach this to the bottom of the the ship uh, well, uh, that would be uh, Duros's thing, but he currently is, he, he's kind of heavy. Well, uh, I, I, I can oh, take off my armor. Can you send your wolf companion to do it? You're talking to Blake? No, I was going to talk to, oh, uh, I was going to talk to Duros to use Zawolfo to do it, uh, if he could do it. I don't know. Well, I, stand maybe, power. Zawolfo. <laughs> can you go underwater and place that in there, can you, my friend? Uh. <sighs> yes. Oh. <laughs> He picks it. He Very. he goes. And he picks it up and he goes. <laughs> Fuck it. He can do it. <laughs> and just sort of attaches it. <laughs> uh, on top of that, I um, 
I should be able to move the water so that we can go faster. I think, I think. That's, yeah, that's a good idea. Do that. Ooh. Oh. Man, we're just going to speed run the hell out of here. Yeah, speed boat out of here, man. All right. We, we, there's not really a time. I, I just sort of set it to go. So get, get ready, everyone. All right, everyone, get, brace yourself. Uh, okay. Can I shout up at Verona and let them know what we're doing? Or? Verona, and, <laughs> Verona and Pearl are kind of flying uh, above you guys by the tower. They could definitely see you guys. So I'm sure that they would just be able to drop in. I, la- I uh, make an X out of salt so they can land nicely on the platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The hell is that? Um, beep, beep. <laughs> the laser builds up and then fires off in one big blast that blasts the ship forwards. Um, Pearl goes, oh, bugger, <laughs> and um, flies down with Verona and like drops you in the crow's nest. And then she lands on the ship as it flies out. Um, and the damn. gates sort of open up as the ship flies through the gates, kind of going off the water a little bit, then landing and then kind of cruising along with the momentum of the force of the... Of oh, the, that's so cool. Like Coupe de Burst, right? Like uh, Coupe de Burst. Yeah. Yeah. Coupe de burst. Well, like, this is the this only before. time anyone could do a flying ship. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. uh, and you're, you're sailing along the seas until you... You're pretty clear of the marine base. Um, uh, and you guys have successfully um, escaped well, we rescued G4 boss, yeah. <laughs> and rescued, rescued boss. boss. Oh, God. Bruh. <laughs> I just collapse on the floor of the freaking ship. And I, and actually, just in time as well. Um <laughs> um, Jesus Christ! Way to go, everybody! Good job, <laughs> friends. hundred uh, percent. We did it. Well oh. done, boys. Let's all have a glass of ale or something. Man. <laughs> I didn't know if we were gonna come <laughs> out of there alive. Yeah. Guys, is everybody else's heart pumping like really fast right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, ale, yeah, some alcohol will help that. Sure. Um, hey, Cyril, I... how old are you? Allowed to have one of these? What is the drinking age in the One Piece universe? Ah, uh, whatever uh, the hell. I don't think it mattered. <laughs> yeah. No, Sura, Sura, is, Sura is like 19. Is pirates, age hadn't yeah. one anyway. Sura is like 19. Yeah. You're a pirate now. Let's go. I mean. Luffy and Sabo and Ace all drank like the sake cups when they were like eight years old. So let's just roll with it. Yeah. All right. Fuck. All right. Cheers. You don't know where to go with this, eh, Rustage? <laughs> well, no, no. I just... And just exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And there's also one crucial thing that you guys didn't think about that I'm only now realizing is you guys wanted to head back to the island, the Pyramid Island. How are you going to do that? With our fabulous navigator Verona, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. Um, okay, no, well, we're heading back. The Pyramid Island, was that the Clown Island? Clown that's Island, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right, okay. Uh, it's a marine ship. There, we got there from here. There's charts on here. I'm sure there's a cartography room. Yeah, I'm if sure this ship some... came from there, they probably have, like, an eternal long pose or something. Yeah, an eternal pose. Oh, there you're has right, because this is the ship that, yeah. that you took there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, Then they would go. have, back yes. Back there all then, the time. Because then they're they, not right there. They would make, it would make no sense that they would not have one for both island, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it, this especially in the Grand Line, because yeah. weather changes all the time, of you course. pretty much need to have like eternal poses to get yeah. to places. Yeah, yeah. then they, yeah. they definitely... And the Marines have a shit ton of those, so yeah. yeah. If it was any other yeah. ship, but because you... Yeah. Did, if it was any other ship, we'd be screwed. But, and but it is yeah. be like, where are we? So we, we would just sail... A, we would just sail around until I could roll a teleportation fruit or something. All right. <laughs> then, um, do you guys mind if we run for a little bit longer? Just a I had bit some. Of bonus. I had something I wanted to say if we managed to get all the hell out of there. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I, I'm good. I just, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you guys are curious to see what's happened to Clear and and Gravy yeah, and stuff yeah. on the island. Yeah, so, okay. I'm, I'm curious. And of course, okay. our our French friend, yeah, Louis our, and Louis yeah. Leclerc, <laughs> Louis Leclerc and everybody. So, the um, you guys travel. I, I th- it wasn't actually that far. It was like a, a couple of days travel. Between these two islands, at least. So okay. we full heal. Uh, so we have a you, long rest. You, you long rest. You <laughs> yeah. guys do long rest. Oh, and thank stuff. God, yeah. Uh, I'll wait, I'll um, wait till the whole class together, then I'll say my thing. Okay. 
you guys Oof. arrive right. at Clown Island, um, and you see uh, the Yogi Poo 2 there, up on the ship. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes. Um, <laughs> as you as you come into port, uh, you you look aboard the ship, and all you see is the beaten, bloodied body of um, Louis LeClock. He's still breathing. Oh shit, Louis, no! <sighs> no, but there's no one else to be seen. Medic! Medic, medic! <laughs> you, I... I assume you rush over to Louis LeClock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, Louis! Uh, it could be, yeah, Duros, Verona, or Ragnar, you all have med kits, so, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Who, I'll just whip one out and yeah, 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 yeah. put it right yeah, into yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just there not you even go. say anything. Just do it. Yeah. All right. Um, the, the ship's kind of beaten up a little bit too, but not too much. Um, interestingly, there's a lot of little pools of blood over the ship that doesn't look like it's come from anyone in particular. It's just like weird blood stains all over the ship. Um, um, Can we search it to this? see if like there's if, if uh you know, gravy's there or anything? Yeah. You you I look swear around to the God, ship. if Cleo did this, I'm gonna kill her. You so look around bad. the ship and uh Gravy is nowhere to be seen. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, what about Florence? Yeah, hold up. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you walk into one of the below deck rooms, you see uh Florence is also I'm gonna roll for this. Oh no. Florence's dead body lays oh. there, but he, but on the desk, covered in blood, are the three things that you asked him to make. As his, he's like Florence is super weak. God, there's no way he would have survived that. Uh, his dead body lays there on the on, on the ground of the uh, his little room that he was making the stuff in. Um, this is tragic. God, Florence, I we didn't know him for that freedom. long. Yeah. God. I know. Oh, Sorry. I mean, it just wouldn't make sense that he was still alive. Um, and, uh... Alright. F in the chat. You you do the little medical kit on Louis LeClock. Um, Louis! Louis, where is everybody? What happened? <laughs> What's going on? Louis. I am so sorry. Je suis désolé. They took him. They took him back. They take. Gravy? We... we the fat one, Gravy. Gravy. There was a man, long black hair, pale white skin. The, uh, called himself Valentine here. He was, he manipulated his own blood. Oh, he was God. so powerful. Uh, Gravy, he was going to kill me, but Gravy went with him to spare my life. But they already got Florence. They took him back. I'm so sorry. I stand up and I'm like, they stole our gravy. And then we can do the to be continued. 